like my new sewing machine table? There we go, guys. It is done. I have finally finished this table. The one day build turned into a three day build. That tends to happen, ask Adam Savage. But I finally got it. This is it right here. Um, I have, obviously, there's the sewing machine. It's uh, set into the um, table here, which is awesome. Um, and that allows it to move around. That allows this to really, it allows you to move fabric on this in a, um, it allows you to kind of like have this entire work area because normally what happens is this is up like this and when you're sewing you have to move around the machine and that's a huge pain in the ass because you're, you're taking stuff and you're moving fabric around the machine and then your brain is worried about doing that and not about making good stitches and, and, and doing proper, doing good sewing. You're, you're, you're focused on, on messing with the machine if you just were to stick this on a table or something like that. So having this set into the table allows you to get in on it and get your, your workflow. And this is important because you want in your shop to have an efficient workflow. You want to be able to be focused on making good stuff and not on fighting the machine. So that's why I do this kind of stuff. That's why I built a lot of the stuff in this room, including this table and a lot of this other stuff is to get good workflows. And so let me show you guys, let me grab some fabric and show you how this looks when you actually have the fabric on the table. If I was sewing this, which I'm not, I'm keeping this up so I don't accidentally drop the needle. Oh, yeah, see, just like that. We don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna kick that over there. Um, God, that one doesn't have a safety. That's my old, that's my old sewing machine. This is my new Singer. Um, this is the sewing machine I have in here, by the way. It's the Singer Heavy Duty. It's their industrial sewing machine. Great fucking sewing machine. I'm gonna drop a full, um, I think I wanna do a review on this thing at some point, but I fucking love it. Anyway, um, this thing, uh, this this allows this to kind of move around. You can take the fabric and you can move it like this and you can sew and you can take it you can come over here and you can sew. And as you can see, I've I put a finish on the top and it came out this nice, this beautiful red. This is just an old piece of shit wood that I found in my garage. It was literally hanging on the garage when I moved in here. And I took it and I cut it up and I made this table out of it. And I put this polyurethane on it and it took up this great red. I didn't dye it at all or anything. Crazy. Anyway, I digress. This is what you want. This is why you got it. And so it just makes your, your workflow when you're sewing and moving stuff much, much better. Um, I like it a lot. And that ability to move the fabric around like that, that maneuverability of this is what really allows you to get good, high precision stuff. Because if you can take down an impedance to you being able to just work, that's a great thing. So this is a great efficiency and it just makes, um, things less frustrating and, and so I can focus on doing really good um, stitching and not focus on fighting fighting the fabric and I'm all about that kind of stuff in my shop um, I built this table out of steel right here um, this is for uh, welding um, well welding in general and it's got all these slots in it to help you um, put stuff down and having tools like this and building custom tools like this just allows you to do things more efficiently and I really like it there's a drawer uh, which just popped up in my eye and I'll talk about that. I added this um, so that I had a place to store my stuff. Um, so I haven't put anything in here yet because it's still kind of wet. Uh, so I'm gonna let everything dry all the night for overnight before I completely fill it up. But I can keep my shears in there. Um, I can keep anything sewing related in this and it actually goes back, oop, doesn't have a stop. <laughs> uh, and go back pretty far. It's not very deep at all. It's very shallow, which is actually good because you won't lose shit that way. Um, as Adam Savage says, drawers are where things go to die. So if you can make it to where your drawer has um, is not as deep, that's good. Um, but anyway, this is for that. Um, I can store all of my sewing related shit right there. Um, and it's, you know, it's not too big. It's perfect. My D doesn't get in the way with it. I measured it really well. Um, it's solid, by the way, on the bottom. Um, I have these little things holding it together, and uh, that keeps the legs from getting wonky on me. Um, oh, and then under underneath, I have this box over here in the corner. Well, you can't see it, but I have a box over there in the corner that has all my fabric in it. Um, it's just like a big bin, um, like a plastic tub with like a lid. Uh, that goes um, down here when I'm not using the machine, and that way that'll just store away, and that'll be a really good way to keep everything organized that way. The only thing I need to do to fix this is right now, um, this 
can't lift out. So I literally had to turn this on and then plug it in because um, I can't re reach the switch. The switch is right down in there and I can't reach it. So uh, I need to, what I need to do is I have, I need to get an electrical box um, and I need to put a switch on it and a plug on it and then have the switch control the plug and then um, mount that underneath and then have a cord coming out that I can plug the table into and then I can plug this into that and there'll be a switch underneath I can turn the sewing machine on and off. Bit of a pain in the ass to have to do that. Um, I mean, I could maybe cut out. I don't think I can cut that out. I could probably reach it with a screwdriver, but that's a little bit ghetto. Um, so I can do that switch thing. I'll figure it out at some point because um, I don't like having to pull the plug to turn this thing on and off. That's not a good way to do that. If you can't tell, I get all excited about having stuff like this. I love building stuff for my shop and having stuff made, doing builds just to, I love building stuff for the shop and expanding what I can do in the shop. Um, the biggest thing I've been I've expanded in the shop is that lathe over in the corner, the metal lathe. That thing's awesome, but um, I love doing this. And the the reason I did this is. Um, because I'm building an Iron Man suit and the base layer is gonna be made out of Kevlar and I'm gonna sew it on that table. And so there's gonna be this base layer and then there's gonna be two layers of the exoskeleton and the base layer is gonna be Kevlar and the two layers of the exoskeleton are gonna be aluminum. And I'm having them water jet cut and then I'm welding them together with that mess of welding over there. I'm also building another upgrade which is a um, welding cart which is this stuff right here. Um, that's also coming because I, like I said, I like building new better shit in my space and making it work more efficiently. So that's why I'm building that. That's why you should subscribe to me because I'm going to be Iron Man and I don't know, get on board at the ground level. I don't know. Subscribe to me. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I really enjoyed building this and I, like I said, I like showing it off um, and I'm really happy I got it done. I only got, it took me like two days to build it, two, three days to build it. I fucking worked really hard on it though and um, really busted that out. So uh, yeah guys, you guys are great. By the way, this is Iron Vlog 181, which is pretty awesome. Been doing this for 181 days. Later, guys. I got all this fabric here um, to build the prototype of the base layer. It's going to be Kevlar. It's like the same color because it's going to be aluminized Kevlar, which is the shiny stuff they use on um, thermal coats, like the you know the ones that people are next to like fucking volcanoes with um like getting something out of like a really hot oven and like crazy cool action shots for commercials or some shit like that that kind of metal and then i got this because i'm going to sew up a mock of that first and make sure it fits it's the right thickness um it's quilted mine's not gonna be quilted but um i'm gonna sew this up and make a model of it and then of course i'm gonna sew the actual one out of kevlar let's hope that little machine not little, it's a good machine, like I said, but hopefully that shit can punch the Kevlar. Kevlar is nice because it's kind of a low friction fabric, so I think it'll push everything out of the way. Yeah.